expert in that. So um, the AC Group of Independent Accounting Firms, uh, we've been around for 20 years this year. We're facing our 20th anniversary. And we are uh, just what we say we are in our title. We are an alliance of independent accounting firms. So back in 2005, um, there was a firm in Bridgewater that was purchased by a large national brand. And two of the partners in that firm weren't interested in participating in that merger. So they kept their uh, solo practices for themselves. Um, after some time, they kind of missed the connection of having a larger group of people to talk to, to, you know, have conversations about client issues or challenges that they might be facing. Um, just the camaraderie of having sort of a collective, um, you know, group think kind of a situation where they could bounce ideas off of one another. So they uh, looked around and they found a third person who was really great at organizing and who really understood the accounting profession. He was actually a former uh, head of CPA, Nova Scotia, the um, used to be called the Accountants Institute or something, long before my time. Um, so they got someone involved to help them put together an organization, the AC Group, um, and they built this framework starting with uh, five firms. There was um, what is now Arsenault Best Cameron Ellis in Charlottetown was one of our first founding firms. Um, and Troy Arsenault is, is still uh, with the firm. And um, uh, two firms in New Brunswick and another Nova Scotia firm along with them. So the five of them started the AC group. Today we have 13 member firms and one associate firm that specializes in tax and advisory practice um, across all four Atlantic provinces. So we're in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, PEI, and now in Newfoundland. So we're really proud of that growth. We're a limited liability corporation. We have a board of directors that meets several times of years and an several times a year to sort of give us guidance on governance and understanding about what the firms need on an ongoing basis. And we have um, like an executive committee that meets every month to sort of stay on top of our operational plan. We're in year two of a current year three year strategic plan. And we're currently focused on growth, both in terms of recruiting great people and in growing our membership to include new member firms across Atlantic Canada. So we want our firms to feel big, even if they're small. We have some larger firms that have 100 staff in multiple locations, but we also have sole practitioners who have a handful of employees, but still they're all um, one of the, the values of the AC Group is providing great service to clients. And most of our firms are leaders in their community. They are they stay local. They're known by the businesses and business owners in their home communities. They work with them on a regular basis. And they're really focused on making a difference where they are. So the AC Group, um, we uh, support our members by, I like to consider us sort of a chamber of commerce, um, and we organize and negotiate uh, group pie power. We get um, you know deals on things like software, group health insurance, um, membership in other organizations like the Canadian Federation of Independent Business. The AC Group is a member, so our members get the benefit of that. One of the things that we do really well, we believe, is in training. So we know that staff at our firms, whether they're a CPA or whether they're a technician or an admin assistant, they all have training needs. And we try to do as much of that as we can in-house. Um, we, uh, we do have some standing contracts with providers who um, do virtual training, like video tax news. And we like to work with um experts in the field to help make sure that our firms are equipped to do their best work. So we engage um, accounting standards experts to help us make sure that our policies and practices are compliant with the accounting standards. And we have tax specialists that ensure that our folks understand the latest legislation that comes out of CRA and how they're, um, what they're required to do to um, make sure that their clients are following the letter of the law when it comes to tax. So those are all really important things that we feel we can help um, our members with. One of the other things that we do really well is support for our CPA students. We're always, uh, most of our firms take on um, graduates who have, are interested in pursuing their CPA designation. And for those students, we do a lot of support in terms of financial support. The firms will often uh, pay 
the substantial fees for the CPA program in return for a, a service agreement. So you would agree to work for them for depends on the amount of money, depends on the firm, usually between three and five years. And they cover your um, course costs and help you get to your designation. You're assigned a mentor. Um, here at the AC Group, we offer some additional coaching. We work with a couple of accounting professors who are still teaching at Dalhousie and St. Mary's, um, and they host um, sessions for our CPA students for each module of the CPA program. So if you're in the assurance module, they'll host an assurance uh, session, and uh, it gives our students some hands-on practice at case writing, which is a challenge if you've not done it before, um, trying to get and get some feedback on some practice cases and things like that. They also just explain what to expect on the exam. They've written them, they've marked them, they teach for them. So they're great uh, resources for our students as well. Um, we also host a number of in-person training opportunities. So we just finished actually our big annual conference that was held this year in PEI. And we're actually in PEI every second year for the next few years, uh, hosting this conference at the Rod Rudnell um, property. And when we do um, our conferences, it's a sort of a two, three or four days um, with, we do our AGM over that time, and we have specific sessions for partners around practice management. And then for CPAs um, and folks who are getting their CPA designation, we have specific training for uh, them at our conferences as well. We do a second conference earlier in the fall that is our administrative and technical conference because we know that accounting firms are not just CPAs. It's also a lot of other staff who are meeting with clients on a regular basis and doing the practical work of bookkeeping and filing taxes and all of those things that our clients are coming to us to um, to have those services provided. So we want to make sure that everybody, regardless of the role that they work in, has an opportunity to learn and develop the skills and the training that they need to uh, thrive in their careers. We have an, an in-house leadership program called the AC Leaders Program. Most of the graduates from that program are now partners in our firms, and it's uh, a great um, it's a sort of a three-level training program. The first level is uh, leading yourself, which is intended for um, everybody at every role in the organization. So you're able to learn what your own leadership and communication styles are. We use things like the MTBI and other um, assessments to get to know who you are as an employee um, and how you how you like to work and how you work at your best, and also to understand what other personality types and other communication styles, how they need to have information and how they operate at their best. So when you're working as part of a team, you have some understanding of how you might have to adjust the way you like to do things to get the best results out of a coworker or a colleague that you're working with. Um, that's the first level of the AC Leaders Program. And then we move into leading a team. So it's very specific to folks who are doing um, supervisory um, roles or direct reporting, that sort of thing. And then the third level is for uh, folks who are going to be organizational leaders, whether that's partners, operations managers, that sort of thing. So um, that's a, a program that we host um, within our own organization to make sure that our member firms have skilled staff who are leading their organizations. And then we do a technical skills training program as well. So that really gets into um, the introduction. So for new staff, it's usually done in January. Sometimes we'll do a second session in the fall, depending on how our firms are hiring and whether they need the support. But it's a lot of introductory courses. So what are the basics around using the accounting softwares that all of our firms use, uh, the types of processes, the basics, um, compilation and review engagements and audits, and uh, some of the taxation things that new staff would be expected to um, to be doing um, after they sort of get through their orientation program. So uh, we try to support our member firms by ensuring that there is really great training available for their staff at every point in their career. What our firms have told us is that really value the connection of the group and being able to discuss common issues, client questions, and hear how other processes work, um, the ability to share best practice. So along with the training that we do, we also have some other ways that they can kind of connect and interact. We have some standing committees across the group that are focused on very specific topic areas like HR, accounting standards, tax and advisory, 
and, and education. And that's the education committee helps us plan the types of training that we do. Um, so these committees have a rep from almost every firm. They meet usually quarterly. Some of them meet a little more often depending on what's going on or if something comes up. Um, and they have great discussions sort of involving all of the member firms. And it's another way for them to share best practice or identify common issues that we could work on. Um, we've done a few projects where we'll, um, rather than having everybody use a different process or a dis different uh, form for something, we've kind of consolidated all of the needs into one. So everybody's using a standardized tool, which is really helpful. It also allows, um, you know, one of the great things that we can do as a, as an organization is if we have a client in Bridgewater and our Bridgewater firm maybe doesn't have a specific type of expertise, but our PEI firm does, well, those they can kind of share staff. Um, and it's a great way for them to, um, to get to know each other, but also to sort of help each other serve their own clients. Um, so it's a great way to sort of have a, a network at your disposal. And we're really proud of the cooperation and operation that our firms uh, do with one another. It's really wonderful. And we have a lot of other internal uh, communication tools as well. We have, um, you know, an email newsletter that goes to every person in all of our member firms. So that's almost 400 people. Uh, we have a, an internal website and a public facing website as well. Um, but our internal site has resources like those common standardized tools I mentioned and information about what the committees are working on and an events calendar and all kinds of things. So it's sort of a one stop place where any any person in any of our member firms can go to get information about what the group is offering and what might be available for them. So we do hire, um, you know, staff at uh, all different levels across our member firms. Um, we do hire for sure uh, accountants. If, uh, if someone is already an accountant, we'd love to get new accountants. There's all kinds of accounting work out there. And most of our firms would um, hire uh, someone with accounting experience on, on spot. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the numbers of accountants and, and folks who've gone into accounting as a profession have certainly dipped over the last few years. So uh, it is um, a career path with lots of opportunity, for sure. Um, and so the types of positions that we would be looking for in terms of students, um, would we hire students or graduates, third or fourth year usually, uh, or graduates, we're looking for folks who are interested in taking the CPA program. But if that's not your path, we have opportunities as well. Maybe you've done some bookkeeping courses or some accounting courses. Um, certainly our accounting technicians don't need to have CPA designations. And we do hire into positions across our firms that uh, have folks just working on files and working with the accountants to get client files completed um, in all different sort of streams of client service, whether that's tax, whether that's audit and assurance. And we have administrative folks as well. So um, lots of opportunity. We're really proud of the fact that we are located across Atlantic Canada. So um, while you might be a UPEI student thinking about going home to Nova Scotia or Newfoundland, we certainly could have opportunities available for you there. 